Hi friends, welcome back to Scratch Skills. In today's video, we'll be learning how we can make a brick breaker game in Scratch. Basically, there will be bricks, a ball and a paddle that you will use to make the ball bounce. The ball must hit the bricks so that you get more points. As you can see, the score increases. If you break all the bricks, you will get a human screen. But if you miss to break all these bricks and make the ball fall, then you will see a you lose a game over screen. So let's bump into this. First, we are going to need five sprites. Number one, ball. Number two, the paddle. You can type in and you will get the paddle. Number three, you will need the bricks. The bricks in this case will be used as the buttons. Any three of the buttons you can use. I prefer using any two of these. But in this video, I'll be using button two. And we need two painted ones. One will be the U win screen. You need to change the theme to green and then you're going to use the writing tool to write in you win with a little bit of exclamation marks to show that it's happy. Then you can use the very same text to zoom in so it looks better. Okay, try to place it in the middle and after that create the next one which will be the you lose screen. You can type you lose or game over. I'll be typing you lose. You can give it the pixel to make it a bit cr cranky. Put it in the middle and zoom it. Zoom it in. Okay, perfect. Now hide the you lose and you win screen. After that, go to the button and fill it with a green color or any favorable color of yours. For me, it'll be green. And then the outer area, try to make it a bit more brighter. You will come up with this color. If you are using green and that after that the paddle can be left the same and we'll be using the fourth ball that is ball D in the costumes of the sprite ball after that we're going to delete the sprite one now we are done with the costumes quickly we can get a backdrop for this by hovering on the backdrop and then clicking on patterns from here you're going to click on these stripes and beautiful you can change the color costume backdrop as you wish for me today will be green now let's move on to the code the first code will be of the ball we'll need three scripts for the ball which includes two green flags let's start with the code the first code will be go to 0 0 y x, x 0 0 that's the middle after that we want to point in direction 135 then we want to wait for a second and use a forever loop from here we are going to move 10 steps and then we are going to Add the block if on edge bounce after that another loop which is the if then touching if touching the paddle then we want to broadcast bounce so bounce you're going to type in bounce in the new message or any other comfortable name you want bounce and that's for our first script second script will be again using a green flag so when green flag get forever and if then forever if then 
dot or else let's use the smaller than block type in minus 140 in one side and in the other put y position and then you're going to broadcast game over so to broadcast game over click on the broadcast mm, new message and type in game over or you lose after that we are going to start with our third script which is when I receive bounce it needs to point in direction 180 so point in direction we're also need going to use an operator 180 minus direction after this we are going to use the repeat until block repeat until the repeat until not touching paddle repeat until not touching paddle paddle perfect and after that we're going to also add a move 10 steps block next we're going to the paddle in the paddle you are going to need when green flag clicked we want it to set its rotation style to don't rotate after that we want it to go to we want it to go to 130 by minus 140 then forever we are going to point towards the mouse pointer move 20 steps and set y to 140 minus 140 <clears throat> after this we are going to test it out we can also decrease the size of the ball to 80 <coughs> and we are going to test this out okay it's working perfect next going on to the button then green flag clicked when the green flag is clicked we want it to hide and then we are going to create a variable also it will be called score we want to set score to 0 we want to set score to 0 and then change our size to 50 percentage set size to 50 then we want to go to a position as x 200 minus 200 while y will be 140 after this we are going to use two repeat blocks one will be for the columns and one will be for the rows so two repeat blocks for the rows four and for the columns seven inside seven repeat seven you're going to add the create clone of myself block and change x by 65 change x by 65 after that in the repeat four block you're going to set x to 70 I mean set X to minus 200 and change Y by minus 30 great now we are going to keep the the when I start as a clone block when I start as a clone 
we want it to show and forever with an if then block if touching the ball then we want it to broadcast bounce then we want it to change score by one and delete this clone let's test this out it's looking great I'm going to increase the size of the buttons a bit um, over here I'm going to type in 55 or 52 will be better there should be a gapping between the buttons as the bricks okay this is fine perfect now we're going to go to the u win screen so in the u win screen mm, when green flag clicked we wanted to go to the custom position that is this area we wanted to hide and then we wanted to wait until wait until an operator which is equals to 28 so basically the wait until score is 28 because there are 28 blocks in total After that, we want to show once it is 28 and stop all. Next, going on to the you lose screen. When green flag clicked, we want it to hide. When, when I receive game over, we want it to show and stop all. Okay, <clears throat> now let's try out our game, keep it in full screen and from here we are going to try to break the bricks and if we miss it, we get the you lose screen. This is perfect. Hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, do not forget to subscribe, like and share for many more other videos like this. Bye friends.